you get asked frequently in this sort of job to prepare for shows like this where you need some interesting thing that's happened to you yeah. in the last, you know, since you were born. <laughs> and I just never have any to the point where it pisses me off. And it, it really, yeah. so that I had a, I was moving house and I was packing my things with straw uh, so they didn't break, obviously. And I had a lighter and I threw the lighter on top of the straw and I thought, that's stupid. And then I thought, oh, actually, that's the sort of thing that a comedian would do. And then they'd have a routine about it. <laughs> but I took the lighter out anyway, because I thought, <laughs> why risk it? And then the worst, I had a builder come round to my house. It was fitting my kitchen. And I offered to make him a cup of tea, because I'm that kind of guy. Um, and then you have a mug selection moment, where most of my mugs have characters from Winnie the Pooh on. <laughs> and I thought, that's not. That doesn't suggest a man who's in control of his life. <laughs> so I'm going to get screwed over on price. The minute you put, yeah. <laughs> you put a piglet mug down and suddenly the skirting board's a bit more expensive than it was before that. Um, after I lived with Mark, I lived with some other friends and they moved out and they left a load of stuff behind because they're arseholes. Um, someone had left behind a world's best brother mug, which I think is... If you were the world's best brother, you'd take the mug with you when you left. So yeah. instantly, <laughs> the prize is revoked. But I had it with me because I didn't want to waste it. So I made the mug, uh, I made the tea for this guy in the mug, and I went to give it to him. Then I thought, what if he's had like a brother or sister that died, and if I give him this mug, it'll bring back the memory yeah. of his sibling who loved him but died tragically in some sort of accident. So I put the mug, I tipped the tea into another mug. And that's when I really realised nothing interesting is ever going to happen to you. <laughs> <laughs> ever. Oh, so Eileen and Joyce have got tablets, have they? <laughs> and if Eileen and Joyce jumped off a cliff, <laughs> would you jump off a cliff? Anyway, she wore me down. She wore, and I got her tablets, I got her an iPad, and to be honest with you, for all the trouble...